Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, we are going to continue uh, with 3.3 which is Remember and Factor Theorem So let's look at the first theorem, Remember Theorem If a polynomial Px is divided by a linear factor x minus c then the remainder is bc For example, this is the polynomial function and when the divisor is x minus 3 meaning that c is equivalent to 3 so the remainder when you substitute x equivalent to the values of c which is 3 inside this polynomial function so 2 times 3 power of 3 minus 3 minus 3 so the values that you get here is equivalent to 48 meaning that 48 is the remainder of this polynomial function so we know that when our divisor is linear our remainder should be just a constant. So we can also check by using synthetic division. So let's try to apply synthetic division here. So we have the divisor is 3, 2 and then the for, for the constant x squared is missing. So we will put 0, then negative 1, negative 3. Then what we have to do here, we have to bring down first. So we have 2, 2 times 3 is 6, this one is plus. So we have here 6. So this one is 18 and then we have here 17, 17 times 3 you will get 51 and 51 minus 3 so you will get 48. So the answer is also equivalent when you try to use synthetic or even when you are using long division. So let's look at to this example. We have this polynomial function with the degree of 3 and we have a, a unknown here which is a. Determine the values of constant a if px has a remainder 6 to 2 when divided by x minus 2. So since we already know by using remainder theorem, so since the divisor given is x minus 2, so c is equivalent to 2. So when you substitute 2 inside this polynomial, so you will get the remainder is equivalent to 62. So it is possible for you to get the values of a by substitute the values of x which which uh, using the values of 2. So p 4 2 power of 3 plus a 2 squared minus 2 plus 8 which is the values is equivalent to 62. Therefore from this calculation you will get the values of a is equivalent to 6. And then, this is factor theorem. If PC or the remainder is equivalent to 0, then X minus C is a factor of polynomial PX. So, what is the meaning of factor? Let's say I give you the values of 10. So, what is the factor of 10? So, the factor of 10 is 1, 2, 5 and also 10. Or, let's say I give you another number. So, let's say we have 6. So the factor of 6 is 1, 2, 3 and also 6. So that is the factor of the values of 6. So factor theorem, when you have the remainder is equivalent to 0, therefore that values or that divisor is a factor. So we have here show that x plus 3 is a factor of polynomial. So Px, so when you substitute x with the values of c which is negative 3, so negative 3 cubed plus 7, negative 3 squared plus 7, negative 3 and then minus 15, you can get all this calculation here so you will get the values equivalent to 0. So what we can conclude here, so it is shown that x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial Px. Okay, let's look at to this example 4. Find a polynomial Px of a degree 3 which has a 0, 3, 4, negative 2. So when we want to construct any polynomial function, so in general polynomial function Px is equivalent to A, the leading coefficient, when the zeros are given, so we will put in terms of x minus the first zero x minus the second zeros given, x minus the third zeros given until how many, depends on how many zeros given, 
x minus rn. So, this is how can we construct the polynomial function when the zeros are given. So, why we should have a here because a is a leading coefficient, therefore it will always be there unless there is no additional information given for us to get the values of a. So, in this case, we have the values of zeros. So, px is equivalent to a and then x minus 3 because the zeros given is 3 and then x minus 4 and x minus with the minus 2. So, we can also rewrite as x minus 3 x minus 4 and x plus 2. So in general because there is no information given so we will assume so we will assume a is equivalent to 1. So therefore our polynomial function px is equivalent to just x minus 3 just all these factors so x minus 4 and x plus 2. So when the pol polynomial which is uh, has a degree of 3 meaning that the zeros of that polynomial, the maximum zeros of that polynomial is equivalent to 3. So, let's say the polynomial function with the degree of 4, the maximum number of zeros will be 4. So, in this case, you cannot just repeat your answer in terms of factor form. So, we call this form as a factor form. So, you have to make sure the final answer of the polynomial function is in general form which is in terms of a x cube plus b x squared plus c x plus d so when you expand everything here so you will get the polynomial function is equivalent to x cube minus 5 x squared minus 2 x plus 24 so this is what we call as a general form of the polynomial function Okay, can you try out exercise 1, 2, and also exercise 3 to discuss in class. Thank you.